Hello! So today we are taking a quick look at X-Plane because I have created an X-Plane plugin for Transmitter. So if you've never heard of Transmitter before, it's a small program you can run alongside your simulator that broadcasts your position so that that can be used to put you on a map along with everybody else using Transmitter. So the obvious use case for this is group flights where you might want to see on the map where all of your friends are. Or if you're doing a group flight with ATC or something like that, obviously it just helps enormously for radar plots and things like that. So let's go and have a little look. We'll jump inside the aeroplane and we'll see how it works. So this is X-Plane 12. The plugin works with X-Plane 11 or 12. So what we do within um, X-Plane 12, we're using the Fly With Lua scripting plugin. And then within it, I have made a plugin called Transmitter XP. So when you open it up, obviously it shows on the screen here. So normally it would show the URL of the server, your call sign, you can change these values, pilot name and group name. You don't need a pin number and some notes. So then you can click on connect. And as soon as you connect, you can just go and close the dialog because it runs in the background. So you notice there's no hit on frame rate or anything. All it's doing is every one, once a second, it's broadcasting our location to the transmitter server. So let's go and have a look at that. So if you go to virtualflight.online slash operations slash transmitter, or if you go and look at the front page of the website, you can see if you scroll down, there's a, a section on transmitter. So that obviously shows you about the Windows version. Also, now the x version. So what is Transmitter for? It was originally written so we could see each other on little nav maps. So you can see there's a little red aeroplane there. Okay, so as soon as you've got people broadcasting on Transmitter, all you need to go do is go into the Tools menu of Little Nav Map and the Online Flying and put the appropriate URL in and set it up, so five second intervals, and say OK. And that means Little Nav Map can read the, the locations of everybody that's using Transmitter and put them on the map for you. Okay. So if you're flying with a group, you'll see all, lots of little red aeroplanes all over the place, you know, all moving every five seconds. The next trick it can do, and this is something I built a little while ago, is if you go to a virtual flight, or sorry, transmitter.virtualflight.online slash radar, you will see a live radar screen. And if I log in, I'll see myself in exactly the same way we saw ourselves in Little Nav Map. So we're moving slowly down the map. If we go and click on the little person icon, after the next update, it will start interpolating, so it will go very smoothly. So suddenly we can see ourselves look moving smoothly across the map. Okay, let's turn that back off. If we zoom out, we can see other people around the world. So if we zoom all the way back out. So you can see whoever's using it at the moment. You can pull them up as a table. You can click on people to zoom in on them and you can drag these around and things like that. You can also change the tiles. So you can show satellite views and dark view, light view, um, cardo. You can uh, do an open street map view as well, I think. Where is it? Okay, so topo, uh, topo's just going slowly. That's what threw me there. So you can show different tile sets, obviously. So it's all fairly straightforward stuff. You can also track an aeroplane. So if it's yourself in amongst a group and you want to track it, on the next update, it will start centering you on the screen. And some of the other tricks you can do is to measure things. So say you wanted to measure from here to somewhere, you can hold the right mouse button down in the radar and it will do a bearing and a distance. If you hold shift on when you do it, you'll get a radius ring appears. If you hold control on when you drag the mouse, it will stay there. So control and shift will do a radius ring and stay there. If you want to clean up what you've done, you can just hit the eraser. You can put a longitude latitude grid on and it rescales itself as you zoom in and out. Um, and the longitude latitude grid obviously renders when you drag the, the screen around. So that's it, that's transmitter, that's what it does. There's obviously this nice radar display. 
but it's really for a little nav map so you can see the little red aeroplanes on the map and it just runs in the background in x-plane it doesn't affect frame rate and it uses the fly with lua plugin so to find out how to install it you just you can go to as i said virtualflight.online go down to transmitter and you can see full instructions of how to install it are right here on the page so you have to install the fly with lua plugin so that just goes into your plugins folder in xplane and then install the the client script within that so in the fly with lua scripts you just drop one file in there and then within xplane once it's running you can just reload all scripts if you've updated it so if i do that you'll see it pop up and we just connect Thank again and off it goes to the races again so we can close that and it's just running in the background that's it that's transmitter so obviously this has been available for windows for a long time i wrote the windows version shortly after 2020 came out but i've just been looking at x-plane 12 recently and i thought you know this would be really useful because that means x-plane and flight simulator users can fly together in a group flight and they can see each other on the map easily okay so there we go that was the x-plane version of transmitter so i'll hopefully see you again soon Take care.